best friend girl welcome welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is sebastian and i spill pop culture tea every day i am in the airport right now we are in san salvador and i am waiting for my connecting flight to los angeles girl so that's right bitch i'm i left colombia left my family i said goodbye but now we are in um we are what you might call it we are uh waiting so i was like my husband okay so listen my first of all Justin Timberlake's team allegedly blaming Britney Spears for his downfall. We got to talk about that. Um, we are in San Salvador. And girl, guess what we're going to eat? Pupusas, best friend. You can't come to San Salvador and not eat fucking pupusas. So I'm going to film you guys my reaction for TikTok. But anyways, best friend, listen. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure to hit that follow because anywhere I go, I'm going to be spilling tea, bitch. So listen, right? What is going on here? What in the Crimea River is going on here? So it says here that a source related to Timberlake has been in a dark place and began drinking heavily when the New York Times documentary Framing Britney Spears came out in 2021 and drew uh, renewed attention to their relationship. Says the Grammy Award winner reportedly started making changes to his team to help manage the backlash he received after the scandalous details from the decade-old romance emerged in Spears' 2023 tell-all memoir, The Woman in Me. He was very concerned about his career in acting. Uh, people were very worried about him, the insider said. Britney just dropped the tea in her new memoir, The Woman in Me, of her past relationship with Justin Timberlake. And oh, baby, is it piping hot. First, she talks about the on-camera cheating allegations that was taken by paparazzi, where Justin was caught with a woman from All Saints in his car, and also with the famous actress who Britney won't reveal the name of to protect her family. But you're over here making diss tracks like Cry Me a River. She also tells a story of how she found out that she was pregnant with his baby and got an abortion where she dealt with severe pain. And what does Justin do to help her as she's laying in agony on her bathroom floor, he decided to strum on his guitar and sing her a song. BFFR. Next, Brittany talks about how he broke up with her over text after their traumatic three-year relationship, literally while she was in the middle of shooting her overprotected remix music video. Mind you, this was in 2002, not you being a founding father of breakup texts. Brittany also made sure to mention that JT often used AAVE, which is probably the greatest ache of all time. Brittany is saying what the black community has been saying for years. Oh my God, I love her. In her book, she literally says, his band, his band, in sync was what people back then used to call so pimp. They were white boys, but they loved hip hop. In sync hung out with black artists to make themselves seem more black. Sometimes I thought they tried too hard to fit in. We still have men like this today, but this was literally a whole category of white men in the 90s slash early 2000s who were just dead set on making everyone think that they were down with black people. And if you need a visual aid, Britney is basically saying that Justin Timberlake is like the white guy in Malibu's Most Wanted. We already knew this, but I'm just glad that somebody who was there saw it for what it was. Justin Timberlake turned off his comments on IG. Clearly, Britney fans were coming for him because he has yet to publicly acknowledge any of the confessions in her book. If you haven't read it yet, she spills the tea and talks all about how he basically made her get an abortion, he broke up with her via text, he ruined her image in the media after their breakup, among many other things. I would like to point out that he did publicly apologize to Britney after the Framing Britney Spears documentary came out in 2021, but he hasn't said anything about the book yet, and I honestly don't think he's going to. Do you think he's going to keep laying low or is he going to say something? Oh yeah, for shiz, for shiz, genuine. What's up, homie? So listen, best friend, first of all, um, I saw this on Breathe Heavy and I was like, what is going on here? So I, I, I listen, there obviously this is a ledge, right? This is not like, um, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But if this is the narrative that Justin's team or, 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 you know, that allegedly that they're trying to take. They got something else coming for them, best friend, because I will tell you something. The Britney army is not about to have that girl. Listen, let me tell you something. No one, no one can force you to do anything. If you are so scared of what was going to come out in the, in the masterpiece, the woman in me, that's on you. That's on your past actions. That's on your responsibility. You know, before the book came out, allegedly there was so much, you know, um, 
so many rumors that allegedly Justin was trying to take down their book, that he was trying to get his lawyers to take a look at it before it came out, this and that. And I always say this, if you have nothing to fear, you got nothing to fear, honey, okay? If you know that you're innocent and that you're good, you have nothing to fear, you know what I mean? But there's something about Justin Timberlake that, you know, he was scared for a reason, right? He was definitely scared for a reason. Now listen, I, I'm that type of person that even if I don't like someone, I don't wish them ill will. I don't want no one to have a dark moment. I don't want anybody to have a sad moment or go through a depression or whatever it may be. Um, and that includes Justin because I, I don't like to wish ill will because girl, that's just going to come right back to you. But I will say this, best friend. What goes around comes around. And that's just that's just the way it is, you know. And karma is real. Karma has everybody's address, zip code, social security, everything, right? And I do believe in my heart that everything coming out from Justin to Britney has always been very negative. And I definitely feel like if they're going to take this route of like, oh, you know, uh, Brittany was so unhinged and she probably, you know, uh, girl, is that my husband? No, that's not my husband. Is that my husband? Nope, that's not my husband. I'm hungry, bitch. Um, listen, you know, if, if this is what they're going to start doing, then we got to get ready for battle, honey, because I will say this. It's so easy to blame Britney Spears. It's so easy for people to come for fucking Britney day and night and all around. OK, but I will tell you something. She is in her living room, living her best life or on vacation, twirling around, doing her fashion shows. She is not hurting nobody, girl. She is not putting nobody's life at risk. She is not breaking any laws. She's just living her best life and, and her, you know, her best eyeliner, ponytail extension life ever. Ever, okay and that's where i want to see her i want to see her happy not hurting a fly but you can't blame britney spears justin justin's team you cannot blame britney spears okay if britney spears is truth all right offended you in any way or hurt you or triggered something in you that's on you that's definitely on you you can't you can't blame Britney Spears for sharing her truth. After almost 14 years of her truth being silenced and her being in a position where she was not allowed to talk, she was not allowed to share her truth, she was not allowed to be herself. How are you gonna sit there and allegedly blame Britney Spears, girl? I'm so sorry, but make it make sense, girl, because if two plus two is four and five is five is 10, what in the Crimea River is going on here? You know what I mean? Anyways, girl, so we are here in San Salvador. Like I said, we're doing a uh, connecting flight to Los Angeles. So that means my time in Colombia has officially come to an end. So we're going to get back to more content. Um, I, you know, because, you know, uh, yesterday I only did three videos. Today I'm only going to probably do three videos as well. But tomorrow we'll go back to normal. Um, I just want to say I love you all so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. I don't take any of you guys for granted. And I will see you guys in my next video. And then Justin, get it together, girl. Get it together. And you know what? Listen, it really is true. What goes around comes around. And you know what I love the most? Uh, go listen to Criminal by Britney Spears because it's on the top 10 in iTunes. So that's the power of Miss Britney Spears. Because, Baba, I'm in love with the criminal. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video.